Hey there, fellow streamers. In our last video, we discussed Caster Labs Multicaster and how it can be used as a tool to broadcast your streams across multiple platforms simultaneously, all while taking the load off your hardware and internet connection. Well, today I'm gonna give you a look into Caster Labs caffeinated app in which you can combine all of your stream chats, widgets, alerts, and OBS docs into one place and all for free. Now, whether you stream to Twitch, Kick, or YouTube, or all the above, Caster Labs works wherever you need it to. If you don't see your platform on the list, be sure to go to their Discord and suggest it to them. They're always looking to add new services to their apps. Now, before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of more content like this, where we'll go over different tips and tricks of the streaming world. So you may be asking, why should I use Caster Labs caffeinated app? Well, for one, it's incredibly user-friendly and completely free to use. There are no restrictions on the amount of services that you can connect to, and you can trust that no matter what, the services will always remain completely free without compromise. You'll find that Caster Labs' simple chat bot was designed to be intuitive and easy to use, getting rid of a lot of the unnecessary clutter. No more complex scripting or confusing interfaces. They also offer a seamless integration which allows you to take their services with you wherever you go. Take your favorite platforms and integrate the services without any frustrations or hassles. Caster Labs also provides you with a built-in Spotify integration which allows you to enjoy your Spotify through the music widget without any of those annoying third-party applications or the restrictions. Did I mention that it's developer friendly? For those who like to customize, their platform offers the option to build your own plugins using Java and the most powerful SDK that's available to live streamers. You'll even be able to express yourself with custom emotes using 7TV, Better TTV, and Franker Z. With a plethora of additional features, the list could go on indefinitely. So why not experience the service for yourself and try out Caster Labs today? So you've decided to give Caster Labs Caffeinated a chance and you wanna know what the next steps are. The first thing that we're gonna do is go and download the file. From there, it's going to ask you to log in using one of your streaming services. In my case, I used Kick, but you can use any of the other ones that they've provided. Once you've done that, you'll notice it's going to open up to a dashboard. Mine's going to look a little bit different to start. You'll probably have a singular dashboard. The first thing that we're going to do is on the left hand side over here, click on these three little dots and that'll pop out another tray. We're going to go down to the basic settings and in here you'll find, so for instance, your appearance, which will show your themes whether you want a dark or light appearance, uh, what icons, emojis, language, uh, if you wanna zoom in or out to make it larger or smaller for the UI, and if you want the application to go into the tray upon closing. From there, it's gonna take you over to accounts, which is gonna be your streaming services or your music services. In this case, you can connect as many of them as you would like. In my case, I typically use TikTok, Kick, YouTube, and Twitch. From there, we're gonna go into your plugins. Now, this is where you'll be able to find the caffeinated SDK wiki in the case that you wanna build your own plugins for the platform. The next section is your about section. So this is gonna include some information about the Caster Labs app, including the version type that you currently have, and you'll see that right here. Um, the next section over is your Streamlab alerts. So this is where you can trigger your alerts that you already have built through Streamlabs using the caffeinated um, application. And then your last section is your coffee integration. So if you would like to use Caster Labs uh, alert systems instead of going directly through coffee, you could use that here. So what we're gonna do now is go back up to the dashboard and we're gonna go ahead and close this back out. At the top right, you'll see there's a little lock icon. If you click on that, this is gonna allow you to change how you have it set up. In my instance, I like to use the one two format because I'm only using the activity feed in the stream chat. Now, if you wanted to use like a viewer list or something like that, you could either add to the columns or the rows over here. Um, it's important to note for the viewer list, uh, the only one that it currently works for is Twitch. Uh, it's only available for the platforms that offer a public viewer list. Um, so once you have set how many columns and rows you want, you're gonna go down into these little drop down menus. And from here, this is where you're gonna pick what you wanna put in that field. For me in the top, I have my activity feed. I think it's just easier to read from there. And then down below that, I have my stream chat. Now from here, you'll notice that you have a little cogwheel on each of these. So if I were to go up to my activity feed and kick on that, 
this is where it is going to allow me to either change uh, the colors that is going to show for the users, the text size, um, timestamps, what uh, platform that the user uses, what their pronouns are, and if there is any alternating message backgrounds that I want to use. Now, if we go down to the stream chat, same thing, click on that cog wheel. Again, it's going to ask us the color for the users. Um, you can select things such as your primary theme for the app, the user color, or the streaming platform. Uh, you'll notice that you can select options for dinging when a new message comes in, reading messages out loud, your text size, timestamps. Uh, if you want to show badges, when the viewer joins or leaves, um, the user's platform. You can also show activities. Um, you can show the user's pronouns. And again, you can use the alternating message backgrounds. And that is all we can do for that there. So then once we're done with that, we're going to go back into our tray over here. The next section is going to be your chat bot. Now in this section, if you wanted to set up um, some commands through Caster Labs, you could do that. Uh, you'll see there's some examples of some that are already built in, such as the song, shout out, sounds, and TTS. Um, but essentially all you'd have to do is just click on that little plus symbol, select which platform it's going to run for, and then what you want that command to reply with. So once you're done with that, uh, we're going to go over to the shouts show. In this case, the shout is going to be for instances such as if people were to follow, um, subscribe, things like that. Uh, you'll see follows, raids, subscriptions. Um, you can select that. You can select how you want it to reply and then you're replying. Uh, you also have timers where you can set up like you do with any other bot. And then the last part is your settings where you can choose if you want to hide commands, shouts, and timers, or if you want to hide any specific accounts from the chat. So from there, we're going to move into widgets and alerts. Uh, if you want, it'll give you a quick run through of how to add these to the OBS as a browser source. Uh, but we're going to go through and run one for you as well. You'll see that if you click on this plus symbol down here, there are different ones for alerts, labels, interactions, goals or other for like cam widgets and now playing widgets. Um, in this case, like let's say we wanted to add a goal. We could go in here. We could click a subscriber goal, um, set up however you would like to have it look. Uh, you can set your specific goal, your title. So let's say sub goals. Um, you can pick if you want rounded edges, numbers, bar color. Um, you can also uh, set if you want to allow an alert. Uh, and then you can set which platforms it's going to be for. Now, once we've done that, we're going to copy the link over here. We're going to go into our OBS and under re under the sources, you're going to hit the plus symbol and you're going to hit browser. From there, you can name it. So let's say sub goal. And then we're going to go ahead and where it says URL, we're going to go ahead and put that in. Uh, do our 1920 by 10. 80 and then hit OK. And you'll see that your sub goal will pop up right up here at the top. Um, now you can play around with this, obviously, change some of the uh, sizes and such to see if that helps. Uh, like, for instance, let's say if we set the width at 500 by 100, hit OK. And then you'll see that it changes that up a little bit. So it really just depends on how big you want to make that goal, but you can kind of play around with that and see what fits best. So from there, we're going to go into our docs. Now our docs are going to be if you wanted to set up to include docs in your OBS for like your viewer list, uh, if you want to directly dock your stream chat in here, or if you wanted to do your activity feed. Um, these are as simple as just clicking on it to copy the link. You're going to come over into your OBS. You'll hit docs, custom browser docs. And from here, this is where we're going to go in and name it. So we'll name it activity feed. And then we're just going to paste that URL right in there and hit apply. Now you'll notice that the activity feed comes right up. And if you double click on it, it should put it directly into your platform. And then from there, you can just kind of move it around and adjust it, uh, make it as big or small as you'd like. Um, but that's how you're going to set it up in OBS for your docs. I hope that everybody found today's video useful. Be sure to follow the links down in the description below to get your Caster Lab services today and take your streams to the next level. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of the next video that we put out. 
As always, I appreciate you all. Happy streaming.